does our Western culture put us at a disadvantage for spiritual evolution? Nowadays, there is no East and West. All have become one. This internet has made such inner net and everything everywhere. Everything everywhere. There is no East and West. There is no night and day. You will say, what do you mean? Because people are working day and night. Earlier, daytime they are working, nighttime they are resting. And because of this day and night working culture and too much of brightness of light everywhere, the worst sufferers are the bee. The worst sufferers are the honey bee. They are so much confused at night. I am talking at Balikai. Oh God. They, th they think that there is something great. They come out in good number at night time. The honey bees. So th this Western culture had taken out all cultures. It's very so there is no day and night. There is no India and America, everything. You can work for America sitting in India, work for India sitting in America. You can work for, you know, fighting aircraft for India in America. Or for, and then you can sell both to America and Pakistan, Pakistan and India both and make your business. So you, you supply them from here. And so we can grow up, you know, but it's almond in California and sell it in India, and we can grow but mango in India and sell it in so it has become all east and west all one. But for spiritual evolution, remember it is there it is not monopoly of anyone. It is the hard work. Sincere, committed, devoted, hard work that will bring evolution in the person. It is not. I am born in India and I will be, it doesn't, 